Man! It's been 15 minutes since I arrived at this garbage dump. I had to endure a freaking hour in that garbage truck. Lightning Queen and Mr. The Idiot King, mark my words. I'll never forget what you both did to me. You both are the reason why I arrived at this stupid garbage dump. If I ever see the both of you again, I will beat you both up to a freaking pulp. You will not receive any mercy from me. I may not have much money on me, but I guess that I can stay at this Ikeno Lodge for the rest of the night. Welcome to Econo Lodge. How may I help you today? I would like a hotel room on the top floor, please. And it's because I don't want to walk for an hour and a half all the way back to my freaking house. Okay then. You'll stay in room 301. Take this room key. Thank you. Now, I'll be going up to my room, because I need to relax, and if I even went back to my house, my dad would surely kick me out of the house for the third time. Yesterday wasn't only one of my worst jobs, but one of my worst firings yet. I was knocked out cold by Lightning Queen and Mr. The Idiot King, then they dragged me to my boss's office. It turns out that my boss was one of the racers from the PTSD 400. When he said he needed me, I thought my boss was going to rehire me, but no. He has Lightning Queen and Mr. The Idiot King throw me in the freaking garbage truck. We're going to drop it all for now. This is the 30th time I've been fired. The freaking 30th time. Where should I work next? I know something. I'll get a job at Starbucks. Welcome to Starbucks. How may I help you? I would like an espresso campana, please. And I would like a cafe misto, please. I'm sorry, but whatever you mentioned is all sold out at the moment. What? Are you out of your mind? What makes you think that whatever may and Bob could last order is all sold out? Maybe it's because I have a good looking and attractive face. You shall respect the almighty Chick Hicks. Ha 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 ha. Do you two think that you can be anywhere as handsome as me? Hey jerk, if you think you're so good looking, take this handsome blaster to the face. What the hell? What did you guys do to me? Well, um, you should go find a mirror and take a look. Ah! What the freaking hell? I look like an ugly mime. You better change me back, or else I will call security to kick you out of here. No, because this is what you get for being rude to me and my friend Daryl Cartrip, as well as for causing the biggest car crash in Piston Cup history. And two, Vian Logic will turn you back. Ha 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 ha. Anyways, me and Bob Cutlass will be leaving this Starbucks. Well, thank god that I was changed back to my original looks thanks to Vion Logic. Oh, and to all you viewers out there, don't even think that the prank that those two idiots pulled on me was funny, because I come up with superior pranks. It's a free country, Chip Hicks. Everyone can laugh whenever they want. Shut the hell up, cameraman. I want you to do me a favor and continue with this freaking episode. Welcome to Starbucks. How may I help you? I would like a lime frosted coconut bar, please. Okay. That will be four million dollars. The price is not four million dollars. You just said that so that you can get rich really fast. You are lying. The price is actually four million dollars. You're the real liar here. You never bothered to look at the menu. You're the one who has never bothered to look at the menu. For that, get the heck out of this place right now. Wow. You're such a jerk. I'm going to a different Starbucks until you get fired. I hope that I never see you again. Welcome to Starbucks. How may I help you? I would like a crispy grilled cheese on sourdough sandwich and a caramel apple spice drink please. Hell no. That is because when you raced for the Piston Cup, you never made it into one of the top 10 positions. Dude, 
please don't remind me of that. It's why I got pulled from racing. I also heard that you got booed at after the tiebreaker race at the Los Angeles International Speedway. You should not have brought that up either. It's because I was really looking forward to the Dynaco sponsorship. But no, Lightning Queen and Strip Weathers ruined it for me. No, you ruined it for yourself with your cheating habits. Plus, those events are in the past, so get over it already. Never. Plus, you're a sore loser, and that's that. Now, I want you to get out of this place before I call the police on you. Jeez. You must have been getting worse since you were booed at. Anyways, I'm going to Dunkin' Donuts until you get fired. Goodbye, you massive jerk. I cannot believe that he mentioned the PTSD 400, as well as my 8th job. I hated my job at Dunkin' Donuts, but West Music still is my worst job ever, mainly due to it being my 20th job. Welcome to Starbucks. How may I help you? Me and my girlfriend Alana would like. Wait just a second. Sunpei, whatever you do, please never ever order anything from this guy. Um, why not? Well, it's because boyfriend and girlfriend told us about the time that employee had a job at character elimination and was treating the contestants unfairly. Hey! Never mention anything that has to do with my 12th job. Wait a minute. That was your 12th job? Speaking of that, how many jobs do you have? I've had 30 jobs. If you count this place, then 31. Wow. You've been fired that many times due to your rude behavior. Here's another question. Why have you been getting jobs? Well, ever since my dad took away my car keys, I've been getting jobs so that I can earn enough money to afford a spare key fob. Well, you haven't been making any money due to your rude behavior. If you want to earn money, you need to improve your behavior. What you just said makes no sense. Get the heck out of this place right freaking now. Oh my god. You are such a human buzz jerk. Me and my boyfriend Sinpei are going somewhere else until you get fired. See you later, you nonsensical idiot. Those two idiots are the real nonsensical ones. If I ever see them again, I will beat them up with no mercy. Welcome to Starbucks. How may I help you? I would like a petite vanilla bean scoon please. Okay. That will be 13 billion dollars. You are wrong. Please make the price $190. Wrong. The price is $13 billion. That is that. Okay then. How about make the price $40? Hell no. I'm not playing this price game. Except the fact that the price is $13 billion. Otherwise, get out of this place right now. Whatever. I'm going to a Starbucks with good employees. See you later, you big jerk head. I hope that the next customer doesn't play any price games with me. If he or she does, I'm going to be freaking triggered and beat up that customer. Welcome to Starbucks. How may I? Hey, aren't you the same guy that I fired back at Denny's? Nope. That wasn't me. That was a different person. But anyways, how may I help you? I would like a caramel frappuccino blended beverage please. Hell no. Caramel sucks. Order something else. Hey, just because you hate something doesn't mean you can force me to order something else. That is just your opinion. Nope. When I say that something sucks, it's a fact. You are a liar. It's an opinion. Oh, and there is something that I forgot to mention. You are an employee, and you are required to give the customer what he or she wants. Blah 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 blah. That was a massive lie that you told me. Get the heck out of this place right now. I was intending to leave anyway. I'm going to McDonald's until you get fired. I hope that I never see you again, you egotistical liar. I cannot believe that I ran into my boss from Denny's. That was one of my worst jobs ever, but West Music is still my worst job due to it being my 20th job. Let's hope that I don't run into any more of my bosses from my previous jobs. Welcome to Starbucks. How may I? Wait. Aren't you guys from a TV show? Oh yes. Me and my three grandchildren are from a TV show called Work It Out Wombats. Thank God that got rid of them. The last thing this place needs is a wombat infestation. Chick Hicks, are you crazy? You used a flamethrower indoors. That is a bad thing to do. Thank God you set nothing on fire in here and caused the fire alarm to go off. Shut the hell up cameraman. 
None of these outcomes happened due to Vion logic. That is a good point, but to everyone watching this video, don't use flamethrowers indoors in real life. That is a very dangerous thing to do. Chick Hicks, I cannot believe that you were being rude to the customers. That's it. You're fired. Before I tell you to leave, what did you do with four of the characters from Work It Out Wombats? I used a flamethrower to scare them away, because I don't want this place to have a wombat infestation. What? You are a freaking psychopath for doing something that is illegal and idiotic. After hearing that story, I would have called the police and had you sent to jail for this, but you're lucky I'm not doing that. Now, get out of here. You're also banned from this Starbucks, and I never want to see you here again. If I do, I'm calling the police and having you arrested for trespassing. Well, I guess that I'm going to close this Starbucks early today. I'm going to go to Jack in the Box to order some ultimate cheeseburgers. I really need to calm myself down after dealing with Chick Hicks's rude and psychopathic behavior. Mm -hmm.